सजेन विद द लॉ द पैसेज फॉर टुडेज रिफ्लेक्शन इज अबाउट द हीलिंग ऑफ टेन लेप्रेस leprosy was a most horrible disease during the time of jesus and the disease could take 30 years to run its course and in that time span the entire limbs can simply fall off the physical ramifications of leprosy are horrendous it was not only reflected in their physical appearance but also on their social living in the gospel we come across 10 lepers who were banished from the society and were undergoing lot of pain in body and mind due to this isolation they desperately wanted to be cured and get back into the society in the absence of medicine a miracle was their only hope so from a distance they cried out to jesus in faith and he heard their cry jesus didn't heal them immediately but they but their complaints to the direction of jesus was an expression of their faith in jesus their obedience to the words of jesus without questioning or doubting saved them from an incurable disease what this incident reminds us is that when we are in sin we are in a state of spiritual leprosy we can come out of sinful leprosy only with the power of jesus like the 10 lepers we need to cry out to jesus asking for his mercy it also teaches us that whenever we feel that our prayers are unheard without losing faith we need to wait patiently always obeying the lord the answer to your prayer or the miracle you seek is on the way another important theme which resonates in the passage is the importance of gratitude or thanksgiving among the 10 who were healed only a samaritan returned to thank the lord it was an attitude of givenness a belief that every blessing is a free gift from god which guided him the other nine might how had an attitude of acquiredness and they felt that they deserved such a favor from jesus because they were jews however they did not feel like returning to the lord to thank him or give witness to jesus to others for the favor they had received the samaritans returned to jesus in gratitude and worship of god was an expression of his faith in jesus that was the reason jesus said his faith brought him salvation while all the 10 received physical healing only the samaritan got the spiritual healing which leads to the salvation does god really need our gratitude whenever he does us any favor jesus openly expressed the need for gratefulness in this event we are obliged to god for our life and all the good things we enjoy in our life a grateful heart recognizes him who has given the blessing and proclaims one's faith in him who has blessed us it is this faith which is the fruit of gratitude that in fact saves us we have a lot of things to thank god for we are also obliged to many people who had guided us served us and who helps us in our daily life are we grateful to them and do we express our great gratitude to them we often fail to recognize the blessings that we receive and that's the reason why we are not as grateful as we should be this may be the reason why our hearts fail to remain happy so let us pray lord we thank you for all the grace and mercy you pour into our life teach us to recognize your blessings in our life in every circumstance and to say thank you thus we may remain always grateful and believe that you really never stop in filling our lives with your goodness and generous blessings amen